You may have heard of dry January. That one I was familiar with. The year's, the year's new breakup with booze. But how about sober October? While Americans hit the month's midpoint, there's a new boom in the non-alcoholic beverage industry with zero-proof shops and bars popping up coast to coast. ABC's Rena Roy is here with the story. Good morning to you, Rena. Hey, Lindsay, good morning. Yeah, well, we've all heard of mocktails, right? But this new wave of booze-free booze, we'll call it, it is taking it all to the next level. In fact, these drinks are projected to be part of a $1.6 trillion global industry by 2025. This may seem like just another liquor store, but look a little closer and you'll see there's pretty much no alcohol around. We're on the list of best sellers, dealcoholized wine. And as we move down, even into 0.0, .0 and uh, very low ABV, like less than 0.5% craft beers. The zero proof movement booming coast to coast with boozeless shops and watering holes popping up from New York and Austin to Denver and San Francisco. Have you seen non alcoholic beverages this popular before? Never before when the pandemic hit and people were at home and there was no longer a reason not to pour a drink at noon and all of a sudden people are looking around their lives and saying these things I thought alcohol was doing for me helping me relax helping me de-stress it's just not working <laughs> Chrissy Teigen and other A-list celebrities sharing their sobriety journeys Teigen saying drinking no longer serves me in any way one study found demand on Amazon for non-alcoholic drinks increased 60% during the first half of this year, compared to the same time period in 2020, the height of the pandemic, when the frequency of alcohol consumption was up. Miranda McWeedney is a recent regular at non-alcoholic beverage store Boisson in New York City. She's taking part in Sober October as she trains for a marathon. I kind of remind you that you don't often need the drink, you just need something different that feels like a change. There wasn't a dedicated retail outlet for this type of product. What we've actually built is effectively a wine and liquor store in the same way you'd find in your own neighborhood. This restaurant nearby also serves up dry drinks. It's not the real deal, but it tastes like it. We have our bartenders train and know what to offer to have every different palate when people want something like it. We have a replacement for a spritz, we have a replacement for a gin and tonic. Now experts say if you're sober curious or just looking to give up booze for a bit, try to think of it like an experiment. And they say really the biggest thing here is to avoid judging yourself along the way if you slip up. Cheers to that, guys. We yeah, got our I, own little taste out of Yeah, absolutely. I was hoping Cheers. that this was a mimosa in my hand, so I can't really <laughs> say that I'm that sober curious, uh, but we'll see. We'll perhaps try it, Rena. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I so was much. just going to go straight from the can. <laughs> yep, that's okay. I didn't get the fancy glass. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.